Hey guys, Jimmy here. So today is going to be the premiere of a video series I'm going to call Friday Favorites. Um, in these videos, what I'm going to do is focus on cards uh, that I like or Pokemon that I like. Um, it's just going to be a different theme each week. Uh, today's theme is just going to be um, my, my favorite cards uh, for the most part from the entire Pokemon series. Um, most of them are cards that I do not have. Um, I didn't want to just choose cards I had, um, for the most part, unless they were, you know, exceptionally good. Um, but a lot of the, and I'm not choosing first edition Shadowless Charizard or something like that, um, which of course, you know, everybody would want. So, um, and I'm not choosing trophy cards or, you know, uh, league promos or anything like that. Um, so these are cards that, you know, are for the most part easily accessible. Um, they're usually artworks that I like, uh, and admire most of all. Um, so I hope you enjoy the content I put in these videos. Um, just because it may, you know, make you aware of some cards you may not be aware of already. Um, and they're not ones that are, you know, uh, necessarily featured in a lot of videos or even really talked about to some extent. Um, so I will be sharing uh, code cards in this video as well. So stay tuned for those. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. So we'll bring my computer to the forefront here. All right. So first, these aren't in any particular order, um, but this is a card I've mentioned in other videos. So I suppose, and it is the first, this is in searching order. So I suppose you could say there's an order to this, um, but I didn't intend for there to be. So this is the uh, Sky Ridge Golem. I'll get a close up of that artwork. That is just fantastic artwork. Um, the Japanese set is called Split Earth, which is another, uh, there's Town on No Map and Split Earth. I do love those um, set names, but it's fantastic artwork. Um, it's absolutely the best looking golem you could have. Um, there's really nothing, especially I haven't seen this card in person. I do not have this card, but um, I've seen it, you know, pictured pretty nicely where the text portion of the card, um, you know, the hollow foil bleeds through that. Um, so yeah, it's a very, very nice card. So that is, um, I guess, unofficially my first favorite um, Pokemon card. Next uh, is the EX Dragon Charizard. So we'll get a close-up of that. Uh, this card... Um, I've thought about buying several times. I always bid on it. It always goes to a price that I don't really necessarily like for whatever reason. Um, but it is a very, very nice card. I like the illustration on this one a lot. Um, it's, I don't know. It, I don't know if it's just a um, perspective um, of the Charizard, what it is about it. But I just really, really like that illustration. Um, so next is the, this is one you may not have seen before. I was actually, uh, mentioning this to, um, boy, I'm having a hard time. Hitmon TV. Sorry, man, I, that, it was just escaping me. Um, but yeah, I was mentioning it to Hitmon TV. This is a Squirtle, a McDonald's promo. Um, just fantastic artwork. Truly original. Um, I mean, you can't go wrong with this card. The hollow bleed through the illustration of the bubble that Squirrel is blowing there. Um, just phenomenal. Uh, so yeah, that is a McDonald's promo. That price has been going up of this card. Um, I think this one's listed for $250 and there's 12 viewed per hour. Um, this card is, you know, had been selling in a PSA 10 for maybe like 90 to hundred dollars. So the fact that people are even viewing it at 225, uh, or I'm sorry, 250 just goes to show you how much, uh, really the entire market has gone up and, um, 
this card in particular. I'm sure people are becoming more aware of it too. But yeah, very, very nice card. So next we have the Shining Charizard. Uh, this card, I never uh, did get this card. I still don't have it. Um, but it's a fantastic looking card. Uh, the Shining Pokemon, obviously. Um, the Pokemon is the only portion of the card that uh, is not even necessarily holographic. But um, it stands out from the background. Um I do like this simple illustration, too, of this uh, canyon he's in there. So, yeah, it's a, it's a very nice-looking card to me. Um, so one day I'll pull the trigger on that one and get it. But, uh, so then we have the Expedition Mewtwo. Uh, this artwork, um, the lightning bolts in the background. I uh, don't know whether you know, Mewtwo is necessarily doing that, but obviously Mewtwo seems very unthreatened by it, so you'd think maybe he is. Um, just a, yeah, an absolutely great-looking artwork to me. Uh, so yeah, this is another one that I do not have. Um, also been looking at this one. The reverse hollows to me of these Expedition cards don't look that good in my opinion, um, so I haven't gotten a lot of the reverse hollows and obviously you can save a lot of money i apologize there um you can save a lot of money um by you know electing to get the uh reverse hollows or the non hollows instead but this one just would look great uh particularly in hollow um form so next we have the Mewtwo GX from Shining Legends. I, I mean, this card I've I've said plenty of times how this is just fantastic artwork. Uh, you have the background with the schematics for Mewtwo. Um, you obviously have Mewtwo in the test tube. Um, just an absolutely phenomenal artwork. You have uh, Mitsuhiro Rita um, illustrated it. As I've mentioned uh, before as well, he's... Um, he was interviewed in that Shining Legends Premium Collection box. The booklet that was featured in that um, did give an interview uh, with Mitsuhiro Rita, and he was talking about the original Charizard illustration that he'd done and how he never thought he'd live up to that illustration, even though I think he's done a fantastic job. There's that Marowak that he did in Crimson Invasion, for instance. and I mean, that's a beautiful-looking card. It's an Alolan Marowak. Um... I mean, he makes that Kingdra that I have in a PSA 10 from Burning Shadows. That card is phenomenal looking. He does, he really does a great job in all of his illustrations. I don't know that I've ever seen an illustration from its hero that I haven't at least thought he's done the best he could. I mean, there's only so much you can do with a Clefairy or a Jigglypuff or, a, you know, a, a, a low tad or something like that. You know what I mean? There's only so much you can do, but he does the absolute most you can uh, achieve with um, some of these bland Pokemon that are in the game. Um, so yeah, this one I think will stand the test of time. Uh, it's just absolutely, just such a unique artwork. Um, you have the Helix, the double Helix right there in the test too. I mean, it's just great. Um, so despite that being a relatively modern card, I still think it's one of the most, one of the best illustrations in the entire game. Next, we have a card you also might not have seen before. This is a VS series um, Typhlosion. I do have this card. Um, this card I actually am going to be sending off to Beckett. I don't think it will achieve a 10. I think it will get like a 9 or a 9.5 um, because I think there is a, a little smidgen wrong with it toward the top of the card, if I remember correctly. Um, but this this artwork is just, I know I've said the word phenomenal, but I suppose these are my favorites, so I might use it several times. Um, but just, I don't know even, I, I don't know if it's withstanding its own attack or what is going on here, but just it's so fierce looking. Um, you know, it's standing there, as you can tell, it's uh, either mo even maybe even moving forward toward this, uh, you know, this force that's going against it, um, whatever it is, uh, I don't know. It, it's just a great looking artwork. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be getting that one graded. Uh, next is the Burning Shadows um, Charizard GX. 
this card is is I mean how many Charizards have we had in the last three years? Um we've had a lot. And this is the one, you know, that the Hidden Fates Charizard was um obviously done after. Um so this will always be the original of that print. Um and I I know for a fact that a lot of people weren't in the game uh at this time, at the time that Burning Shadows came out. Um, we know that because people are still chasing the Burning Shadows Charizard. And, you know, how many... I can't give you an actual figure, but you know that a lot of channels have started. And you can tell when you watch a lot of channels, they only recently started collecting at all. At least the modern product, because... They always are talking about how a card is new, and it's a card that if you'd been collecting the last three to four years, you have that card. Um, so this card is going to be uh, very valuable, um, just because a lot of people got into this too late to necessarily attain this card. Um, you know, they may get fortunate, but the print quality of Burning Shadows is only getting worse. Um, it's hard to find anything that's centered some of them are so horribly centered. It's it's almost as if I've I've opened some Burning Shadows, admittedly, even though I have this card, um, and it's it's almost like I don't even know why I even waste my time because um, rare hollows are horribly miscut. I mean, uh, they'll redefine horrible is how bad they're they're printed. Um, so you have almost no opportunity to ten. Um, you have almost no opportunity of pulling it or, you know, at all in the first place. But the fact that you, even if you do, likelihood is that it won't be a 9. It may not even be a 9. Probably won't be a 10. Probably would be an 8 or a 7 even um, with how bad the print quality has been. So this card is going to, like I said, stand the test of time. Um, especially over the Hidden Fates Charizard. The Hidden Fates Charizard is, I mean, you read a comment page on the Hidden Fates Charizard and people say I have it 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 people say they have two you know it's it's incredible and they did the other print run so the Hidden Fates Charizard is just going to be available in in huge quantities um and I don't know how many raw ungraded Charizard GXs from Burning Shadows are even out there anymore I mean so much product's been opened um and by now, everybody knows to just submit that card. So I don't think there's a whole lot of raw copies uh, left. Um, but that one is definitely on the list. Next, we have a um, Aquapolis Lugia. This card, um, just an, a fantastic looking card. I guess it's something about the lightning again, uh, as it was with the Mewtwo and from Expedition, but... Um, not much you can say about it, uh, to crystal types, of course, hollow, a hollow foil, uh, pattern probably does bleed through that text portion of the card. Great looking card. And last, we have another card that actually wouldn't probably even be last on the list. This is a card that just, uh, escaped my memory, um, while I was kind of compiling this list. This is the Ninetales EX from Hidden Legends. This card... Um, I can't remember what the Japanese set name is for this, but I did think about buying a Japanese copy at one time because actually the Japanese copies were still being printed in first edition at this time. Um, so, you know, slightly more exclusive to have the first edition uh, in Japanese. But as you can see, um, I'm assuming this is an illustration of the intense glare. Uh you have nine tails eyes in the in the picture um very hypnotizing i i think it's fantastic artwork um but yeah so that that finishes off the list um tell me what you guys think if you if you see a card that you like out of this list what's your favorite out of the list um if there was anything that uh you know i showed you that you may not have known about before um yeah, do let me know. So I'm curious, yeah, what, about what you guys think about uh, any of the cards I post or my opinions on cards. Uh, I'd like you to share uh, your opinion as well. Um, 
So let's go ahead and get to, to some code cards. Let me go ahead and sort some out because I hadn't gone through these in advance. So, or in advance, so I apologize. And uh, like, I, like I've said before, do share these with somebody else. If you um, already have a code that I'm sharing, uh, let somebody else um, claim it. So here we go. Start with a good one here. We got Shining Raichu. I'm sorry, Shining Legends Raichu. It's not Shining Raichu. Shining Legends Raichu GX box. As I've said before, actually, the Shining Legends Raichu box, that was where I got a lot of good pools. So if you can find that box, um, I mean, I'm not obviously guaranteeing anything, but I can tell you that I had probably the best pools I'd had all throughout Shining Legends in those boxes. Um, and I was fortunate, too, because they did... Uh, Put those on clearance at Best Buy um, pretty soon after Shining Legends came out. And I bought pretty much every one that I could find. And, I mean, I got my PSA 10 um, Shining Urquaza from that. I think I might have even gotten my Shining Genesec PSA 10 from that. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's a good box. We have an Altaria 3-pack, Rebel Clash 3-pack, and last... Uh, I think I have given this one away before. Sword and Shield figure collection box. Alright guys, so let me know what you guys think of this series. Uh, once again, this is going to be the first of the Friday Favorites video. So, have a great day guys. I'll be seeing you this weekend in a video, uh, at least the Sunday showcase. So, alright, until then, bye-bye.